students, it's math time again, and our lesson is about problems involving quadratic equations. In this video, you will be able to learn how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. Yes, the concept of quadratic equations is illustrated in many real-life situations. Problems that arise from the situations such as those involving area, work, profits, and many others can be solved by applying the different mathematical concepts and principles that we studied, including quadratic equations and the different ways in solving them. So let's see our example. Our first example is this. The top of a rectangular table has an area of 27 feet squared and a perimeter of 24 feet. What is the length of the top of the table? What is its width? Okay, so the first thing that we did in this problem is to read, okay, read the problem and try to understand the problem given. Okay. Ano ba yung kailangan nating hanapin dito sa ating problem? Ano yung kailangan nating isolve? Ayan. Sige, intindihin muna natin yung problem. So sabi, yung top of the table daw ay may area na 27 feet squared, tapos perimeter niya is 24 feet. Okay. Tapos, ang kailangan nating hanapin is yung length ng ating table Okay, tapos yung kanyang width. Okay, hahanapin natin ang length and then yung width ng ating table. So let's write down the given. So according to the problem, yung area ng table ay 27 feet squared and tapos yung perimeter is 24 feet. Yan, so yan lang yung given dun sa ating problem. Tapos, ang hinahanap natin is yung sukat ng length and then ng width. So, paano natin masasolve yan kung ang given lang ay area and then yung ating perimeter? So, let's recall the formula in finding the area and the formula in finding the perimeter. In area, we have length times width. Sa perimeter, 2 length plus 2 width. Yan, di ba? Yung ating formula sa pagkuha ng area and perimeter ng ating rectangle. Now, let's substitute the given to our formula. So, ang area nga natin is length times width. Tapos, ang nakuha natin according sa problem is 27 square feet. Okay, so yan, ilagay natin L or length times width is equal to 27. Yan. Then, yung perimeter natin is 2 length plus 2W is equal to 24. Saan galing ang 24? So, ang 24 ay makikita natin dun sa given ulit ng ating problem. 24 feet, yung kanyang sukat. The perimeter is 2 length plus 2 width is equal to 24 and this perimeter can be simplified. How can we simplify this? We can divide all the terms to 2. So, 2 length divided by 2 is equal to L na lang. And then, 2 width divided by 2 is double E na lang. And then, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, so na write down na natin. Or na-simplify na natin yung ating perimeter. Length plus width is equal to 12. Tapos, kanina, sa given natin, length times width is equal to 27. Now, we can think of length times width is equal to 27 and length plus width is equal to 12 as the equations representing the product and the sum of roots respectively of a quadratic equation.
'di ba? Kita niyo naman. So yung L plus W is equal to 12, ayan yung ating sum and then ito namang length times W is equal to 27, ayan naman yung ating product of the roots. Naaalala niyo pa ba yung sum and product of the roots natin sa quadratic equation? Kung hindi, well, pwede yung balikan yung video about dun sa product and sum of the roots. So, paano na natin ngayon isusolve yan? Ang given lang sa atin is yung product and sum of the roots. So, so paano mangyayari na makukuha natin yung length at saka yung width ng table? Sige. So, remember that if the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation are given, the roots can be determined. This can be done by inspection or thinking of a number whose sum or whose product is 27 and whose sum is 12. So, anong number ba na pag pinag-times natin equal sa 27, tapos pag inad natin equal to 12? Makikita nga natin na ang number ay 3 at saka 9. Sige, check natin. Kung talaga ba ang 3 and 9 yung magsasatisfy dun sa product na 27 and sum is 12. So, 3 times 9, 27. Tapos, 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. Okay? This implies that the width of the table is 3 feet and the length is 9 feet. Okay, so since 3 and 9 yung nakuha natin as our roots, ito yung magiging sukat ng width and length ng ating table. Siyempre, i-check natin. Kailangan may checking din tayo. So area 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Okay, tama naman. 9 times 3 27 nga. So, tama. Pwede yung 9 times 3 sa area. Sa perimeter naman, di ba, meron tayong formula na 2 length plus 2 width is equal to 24. So, ang gagawin natin, substitute lang natin yung length and width, then simplify. So, 18 plus 6 is equal to 24. Okay, so 24 is equal to 24. So, tama yung ating answer. So, nakuha na natin yung ating answer. So, maganda talaga na pagka nag-solve tayo ng problem, meron pa rin tayong checking. So, hindi lang basta alam ko na yung roots, ayun na yung sagot. So, kailangan pa rin ilalagay natin yung pinaka-final answer natin, katulad dito. Tapos, may checking. Okay? So, let's have... Another one. Example number two. The local government of Rodriguez Rizal wants to place a new rectangular billboard to inform and give awareness on how to protect themselves from the spread of COVID-19. Suppose the length of the billboard to be placed is 4 meter longer than its width and the area is 96 square meter. What will be the length and the width of the billboard? Okay, so read and analyze the problem. Sabi nga, yung local government ay maglalagay ng billboard to give awareness about COVID-19. Ayan, di ba marami tayong nakikita ng ganyan mga posters or billboard? And then, ang gusto mangyari, yung length ng billboard natin is 4 meter longer than its width. Ibig sabihin, mas mahaba ng 4 meters a width. Tapos yung area is 96 square meter. Ang hinahanap natin is again, yung length and width ng ating billboard. I-write down natin yung mga nakuha natin given dun sa problem. So let width is equal to x. Tapos length is equal to x plus 4. Natatandaan nyo, sabi sa problem, yung length ay mahaba ng 4 meters sa width. Kung ang width ay x, ang length natin ay magiging x plus 4. Then of course, our area is 96 square meter. Given din siya dun sa problem, di ba? Ang formula na ang rectangle is length times width is equal to area. 
So, isubstitute natin yung mga given dun sa ating formula. Ang length natin is x plus 4. So, yan. Kaya may x plus 4. Tapos, yung width is yung x. Kaya may x. Tapos, yung area, 96. And, may mathematical equation na tayo dito. So, ano susunod natin na gagawin? After natin makagawa ng mathematical equation, let's simplify. So, quantity x plus 4 times x is equal to 96. So, by applying distributive property of multiplication, we can simplify uh, our equation. x times x is x squared. 4 times x is 4x. And just bring down or copy equals to 96. Let's write our equation in standard form. We have to make our equation equal to 0. We will subtract 96 to both sides of our equation. So that's APE, our addition property of equality. And that's why we have x squared plus 4x minus 96 is equal to 0. Ayan, makikita na nga natin na yung ating equation ay equal na sa 0 at nakasulat na siya sa standard form. Ang susunod na gagawin natin is to solve the resulting equation by factoring yung gagamitin natin. Kasi mas madali ang factoring pag ganito, ba? Pero kung gusto nyo quadratic formula, pwede rin naman. Or kung gusto nyo rin completing the square, pwede rin naman. Pero factoring yung gamitin natin. Factor ng negative 96. Okay. Ang pinili natin is negative 8 and 12. Tapos syempre, wag din natin kalimutan i-factor si x squared. Kaya meron tayong x and x dyan. Ngayon, i-check natin kung talaga bang equal siya sa middle term. I-add nga natin negative 8 plus 12. Okay, positive 4. Then, copy equal to 0. Now, let's equate each factors to 0. x minus 8 is equal to 0. And x plus 12 is equal to 0. Applying addition property of equality, we can solve for x. And we have x is equal to 8. And the other one, x is equal to negative 12. So, nakuha na natin yung roots ng ating quadratic equation. Now that we have the roots of a quadratic equation, let's go back to the problem that we have. Remember, ang kukunin natin is yung length at saka width ng ating billboard. So, these are the roots. Ito yung tandaan natin. However, we only consider the positive value of x since the situation involves a measure of length. Pag kinukuha natin yung sukat or length, hindi pwede ang negative. Diba? Wala kang makikita ang negative na sukat. Kaya, ang pipiliin natin dito ang answer is 8. Kasi siya yung positive. Hence, the width of the billboard is 8 meters and its length is 12 meter. Ma'am, paano nakuha yung 12 meters na length? Okay. Balikan natin yung problem. Sabi nga natin, ang sukat ng length ay mas mahaba ng apat sa width. Kaya, x yung ating width, 8 yung sukat niya, mas mahaba ng apat yung length. Kaya, ang length natin is x plus 4. Substitute natin yung nakuha nating x, which is 8. 8 plus 4. I know, it's 4. Eight plus four is equal to twelve. Kaya nakuha natin yung length na twelve. Okay. So hindi yan dahil dito sa nakalagay kasi x is equal to negative twelve. So hindi yan nakuha yung length. Okay. 
Again, ang width is 8 meters, tapos ang length niya is 12 meters. Now, let's sum up the steps in solving word problems involving quadratic equations. Number one, read and analyze the problem carefully. Next, collect the necessary data. After we have that data or given, let the missing data to any variables and use algebraic expression to represent some data. Natin siya kanina. Meron tayo nilalagay na let x is equal to with yung mga ganun. Then, convert the remaining data into mathematical sentence. After that, find the solution set or roots of the quadratic equation using any method. Again, we have four methods. Piliin nyo lang kung alin yung dapat gamitin doon. And for assurance, just substitute the obtained roots to the working quadratic equation. So, ito na yung checking. Kailangan talaga, meron kang checking na gagawin. Or kasi talaga, kapag may checking. So, balikan mo yung problem and check mo yung mga nakuha mong answer. Okay, important note. Ito. Solving problems involving quadratic equations does not end in finding and checking the roots. Since it is a relief problem, you must decide whether both or one or none of the solutions is reasonable. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Yes, In solving word problems, it doesn't end in finding the root. Okay, sa so word problem, minsan talaga hinahanap yung length. Mga sukat-sukat. O kaya, kung hindi man length, distance, work. So, yung mga ganong problem ay walang negative values or hindi ginagamitan ng mga negative numbers. Kaya, pag ganun, hindi natin i-accept yung mga negative as our answer. So, kailangan mo pa rin pag-isipang mabuti or piliing mabuti kung ano yung makamang sagot dun sa ating problem. Okay? Pero, syempre, kaya ang kaya mo yan. On my next video, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving rational algebraic equations. Kasi, um, may mga problem naman na fraction. Yung given. Paano kapag ganun na, pag fraction yung given? Paano natin yun matatransform into quadratic equation at paano yun isusolve? So, yun naman yung ipapakita kong example sa next video ko. So, kaya abangan nyo lang lagi yung mga videos ko na i-upload dito at marami pa kayong matutunan tungkol sa math. See you again next time! Bye.